Are you ready? It's not normal for me that I do making of, but in this case I think it's necessary because this story might or should have a continuation. You know, you never know when you create something why you do it. There is just you do it because for some needs. It's called Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina is the, actually the Greek sentence, which is, means God from the machine. This is a bit more about exploring artificial intelligence. We creating a character, but maybe it's correctly to say image. If we are can explore this artificial intelligence through the, our art, it could be an instrument to learn it a bit in advance. Somehow this piece became very special for me because this may be a couple of topics that I want to explore during this, this process we have. Also because it's really interesting to, to work with the, the musician, with the composer, Jonathan Heck. Basically, Alex, the choreographer, he sent me a video of his dancer and who sort of showed me how the, the main idea was. I think what we both have in, in common is that we, we work a lot with pictures and images. And so, yeah, I just sat down at the piano and that was also after he told me about the binary code. And at first I thought, I'm probably the wrong composer for this. But then I started researching on it and found that it's actually something simple, which creates something very, very complex. That's what we do together with Jonathan. We're creating this character together. So it's not that I pick some music and then I try to develop some choreography in there. We're creating all this image together from zero, which means that we can really play around it and with it together with the music and together with the movement, with the plastic. Well, I find with every choreographer the process is very different and it, uh, I'm always curious to find, find out how to work together with someone and to understand what they want. And I can see that he has a very clear vision of what he wants and he finds different ways to express it, to show it, to explain it and I find it very interesting to put the pieces together into how I can translate it into body, into choreography, into how I can interpret it. I used, especially for this piece, really typical composition to create an, an, a right atmosphere, to create an, a, an a right information that we want to deliver. I knew it had to be something repetitive, which later on can evolve to something else, um, but it has to start with with repetition. So we start with a single note in the beginning and from there it grows. But then later on we add a we add a cello and which shows the man, the, the human, the human side and where we get emotional and have this sentimental theme um, in contrast to the to the very harsh beginning and, and also the end. For me, it's a very interesting character to look into because it's uh, she's not driven by someone else, but she basically creates the whole situation. We are the, the last step of the evolution. 
in this case the robot who think that if he's faster smarter um, better that he's a next step above us the step of the evolution it means the robot will be an aggressive yeah i mean for me personally as much as i enjoy working on this character i i don't like <laughs> i don't like the idea of actually artificial intelligence because i do realize that um, it can go much further than um, humans can ever deal with in the in a human world there is such things as understanding compassion like understanding of difference of each situation and how maybe somebody's feelings affect how they behave or being even nice to someone machine would never need to be nice to someone so it's just will create it would it could destroy society in a way it's a big it's a big thing which is coming soon about artificial intelligence artificial intelligence it's already existing on the way of development it's already developed it's just not in the mass it's hard to tell but yeah there's there's the danger is always going to be there that artificial intelligence will out, outsmart by just by purely being cold-hearted because if you have nothing to lose, you go much further than having something. I definitely think that this piece has a lot of potential. I think the, the topic of it is unusual. It wouldn't be the first thing I see on a stage as a ballet. But then again, it turns out to be something very, very interesting and, and innovative. The challenge about composing something that needs to after all, entertain people for, let's say, two hours. I think the, the challenge about it is to, to have a good storyline, to have good people on stage, but also for the composer and the choreographer to know about dramaturgy, to, to have longer bows to really tell one story and to, to get the audience. Art, it's not only entertainment, the art, it's it made for something more than just to entertain the people.